Park. And I began my journey, that's what it was, 109 months ago from Dayton, Ohio. I was a previous business owner in Ohio. I owned and operated my own temporary service, jobs, agency. And after seven years, I became very successful, very successful, meaning I made a lot of money, a lot of money. But you see, something happened. After I began to make the money, the poor people who made the money for me, I turned my back on. All right. Because see, I had mine and I had no use for them anymore. But how many of y'all know, and I was nasty, and I was arrogant, and I began to buy toys, material things, uh, expensive cars, and would not give back in my community. But how many of you all know you can be nasty and think you're all that, and God will get your attention? He got my attention. For no reason, I became very ill. And in my illness, it took me to my deathbed. I was very sick. And I was on my back. And no matter how I laid on my back, all I could do is look out the window and look at all the dust on my cars and look at the expensive things, but I couldn't get out of bed. And I just laid there and I deteriorated till finally my family came up and decided to put me in a nursing home. And that was the night. I decided to take my life. And as I laid there, there was a plan. And somehow, I fell asleep. And in this sleep, the Lord took me on a journey and He showed me all the people I had abused, all the homeless people I laughed at, all the veterans I made fun of. I was sick making fun of them. Oh, but as I saw this vision, I asked God to forgive me. Yes. To give me a second chance. Yes. And I made a deal. Right. And the deal was this. I will do anything, God, if you heal me. I want you to know I was healed and delivered. And I was given an opportunity to give back. Right. In 24 hours, I left my home. My business, my cars, everything I own. And I walked out in the snow. And they said I was crazy, but I didn't care. Because, see, I had a new purpose now. I was walking to Washington, D.C. to pass legislation for people who were being evicted. People's lights being turned off. Homelessness. Homeless veterans. Exclusively homeless veterans. Which I feel is wrong that they come home All right. and they're cast aside or ignored. All right. I say to you today, when I took off from Ohio, I didn't know where I was going or what I was doing. I was just going to D.C. and I began to meet people in the woods, behind bushes, behind dumpsters. People eating garbage. And I said, God, what's going on? He said, walk. I said, God, where am I going to eat? He said, walk. I said, God, where am I going to sleep? He said, walk. And I walked. And I walked. And I walked through the winter, the spring, the summer, the fall. I have had people throw cans at me. I've been spit at. But God said, walk. I've made it. So far, 16 states where I personally, personally, I personally address the homeless and walk up to them and say, how can I serve you today? What can I do to take you off these streets? What do you need today? I can't write you a check, but I can direct you to a resource. Thousands of people and the media, God bless you. But I don't even think you knew I was out there. But I'm not changing my course and direction. I'm in Birmingham now. It's a lot of homeless here. So I'll be here for about a week and a half and see what I can do. I'm upset today. It is a very important day. Did you guys know today is the 50th anniversary of, of Pearl Harbor? Yes. I'm a, a 20 200 plus people died, soldiers died from that ship. 1,800 
were wounded 50 years ago. I have the fortune today of standing on this podium with a Purple Heart veteran who came to my rescue here in Birmingham. He is decorated. He has came after me in joy. And he's, what can we do for you, Miss Kim? How can we help? So they've been very instrumental, as well as the Democrat, progressive Democrats and the NAACP. Thank you. And the city of Birmingham for receiving me, giving me a proclamation. Thank you. I'm going to close now, but I want to make a statement about insurance. 220,000 people need it. Yes. Come on now, I'm out there. Yes. And if you already have homeless people with mental health and they won't be able to continue their meds, right. y'all in trouble. Right. We need health care in America. Yeah. That is my position. I don't go against the grain, but when it comes to your health, I'm concerned. That's right. I love you. God bless you.